friends and welcome to day 16 of vlogmas i can't believe that we have made it this far so far that is awesome <laughs> so we're pretty much just going to jump right into it with the video today because i was kind of starting to run out of some ideas so i decided that today we're just going to answer 50 random questions about myself and i've only read like the first two or three questions on this list and my goal is to just try to answer them as fast as I can because I don't want this video to be too, too long. So I guess we're just going to go ahead and get started. So let me get my phone out, pull those questions back up, and let's just get going. All right. Question number one. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Maryville, Tennessee. Two, what is the earliest memory you have? So I would say the earliest memory I have is some kind of a mix between like some Christmas memories. I remember one Christmas, my brother and I getting an N64, but then I remember the Christmas where we got the Game Boy Color with Pokemon Crystal inside, and I don't really know which one came first. I just know that's when I was really little. Question number three, what would you do with the money if you had won the lottery? 100% I would just go and travel. Four, what could you have done to make today more productive? Um, well, I'm working and making a video, so I don't really know. Number five, would you rather have a flying ranger or a unicorn? 100% a unicorn. <laughs> Do you need to be tucked into sleep or can you fall asleep anyhow? I can fall asleep anyhow. I don't need to be tucked in. If you had to wear one item forever, what would it be? Probably my rainbow cardigan. If you had to kiss, marry, and kill YouTubers, who would you choose and what would you do with to them? Um, can't answer that question fast enough. Um, let's see, I wouldn't, I don't know who I would kill, there's so many YouTubers that are not very great that I'm not going to mention in this video. By the way, another disclaimer, if I feel uncomfortable answering some of these questions or I feel like I shouldn't answer or they're a little too personal for my taste to let other people know, I will skip them. Um, kiss, we're just gonna go with Chris Broad from Abroad in Japan. Mary, I would 100% marry Sharla. Number nine, what is a question you want to answer but nobody asks? Don't know. <laughs> Which cartoons do you still watch? I still watch a lot. Invader Zim, Adventure Time, Regular Show, oh my gosh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. There's so many. What show do you watch that isn't targeted for your age group? Probably all the cartoons that I still watch. What show do you wish could come back from your childhood? I would love it if they continued on with Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. <laughs> What song do you not know the lyrics of but like to sing anyways? Very many Japanese songs. If you could have one talent, what would it be? I would love to be able to draw very, very well. Would you rather the world remain peaceful forever or no one on earth ever goes hungry? That's a very hard question, but we're going to go with no one on earth ever goes hungry. What is a weird food combination that you do? Um, a lot of people seem to think it's weird that I do um, peanut butter sandwiches with goldfish or I will dip my pizza in penang curry sauce. Would you rather eat or drink your calories? Eat. Very much so eat. It's my favorite part of the day. Five things that make your average day better. Food. Time with my dog. Time with my significant other slash or friends. Getting to watch the TV shows I enjoy. And... I don't know, getting to watch YouTube. <laughs> Would you rather someone go through your phone, text messages and all, or go through your internet history? My phone. Like, text messages. I don't really have much to hide there. What are three things you would do if you were stranded in a rainforest to ensure your survival? What, what was it? If there were three things. Build a shelter. Look for food. Look for water. Question 21. Um, a question I do not feel comfortable with, so we will just continue on. 22. If you had to choose never to use Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube again, which one would you let go? Twitter. 23. If you had to choose, how would you want to get famous? YouTube? 24. Which languages do you speak? I only speak English, and I have been trying to learn Japanese, not doing a great job, but I've tried. Which languages do you wish you could speak? Japanese, Korean, I mean, I would love to be able to speak, like, all languages. <laughs> what country do you wish you were from? Um... That's kind of a hard question because I don't want to sound weird by, like, giving the country. Um, I don't know. I The U.S. is fine. I think it would be cool to be from Japan or, I don't know, continuing on. <laughs> what is your favorite moment in history? My favorite moment. 
I don't know off the top of my head. If you could choose which time would you would you go? If you could choose which time would you go back to? I'd love to check out the 70s. If you had a time machine, would you rather go back in time or into the future? Into the future. Pet koala or pet panda? Pet panda. Panda is one of my all-time favorite animals. The power to communicate with animals or the power to communicate with plants? I would love to communicate with animals. What is your usual bedtime? Anywhere between midnight to 2 a.m. What do you remember to be the worst day you've ever had? 33 is a question I don't feel comfortable answering, so we're going to skip on. 34. What is an irrational, what is an irrational fear you had as a child? Um, I don't really know, but I will just say I was terrified of spiders, and I still am. I mean, it's not really an irrational fear, but anyway, okay, continuing on. Have you ever conquered a fear of yours? I have, I would say very many. What is something silly you believed as a child? Um... I believed, and I've had this talk with a lot of other people before that believed this too, I believed that quicksand was going to be a bigger deal in my life and a little bit more of a scary thing in my life. What did you want to be when you were a kid? I wanted to be a veterinarian. If the kid version of you were to meet you now, how would they react? I'm not 100% sure about that. What is your favorite fictional world? Probably The Hobbit. You know, Middle Earth. Which teacher left the most impact on your life? Um, probably my theater teacher, Mrs. Crow. What was the most significant event of your life? Right now, um, probably when I got engaged. Would you say you have more of an English brain than a math brain? No, definitely more of a math brain. Will you want to be remembered after you die? Mm, be nice. <laughs> what was the last movie you watched? What was the last movie I watched? I think the last movie I watched was actually Tarzan and Swedish. <laughs> What was the last movie that made you cry? Frozen 2. Actually, no. I mean, Frozen 2, yes, but I did rewatch The Lady and the Tramp after that, and I did cry. So, Lady and the Tramp. Have you ever been so happy that you cried? Definitely. Many, many times in my life. Have you ever won anything? If so, what? Um, I won... I won, like... Mm, okay, let's see. I did a costume contest back in, like, 2013, I think, maybe? And I was Bilbo Baggins from The Hobbit, and I won it at a coffee shop, so that's cool. Um, I've won a few giveaways here and there as well. If you had to get married to the last friend you texted, how would it go? Well, let's see who the last person I texted was. Actually, haha, -ha, the last person I texted was my fiancé, so yes. <laughs> 49. Would you ever go on a blind date? No. 50. Do you mind getting famous even if it's from bad publicity? Yes, I'm mine, and I do not want to get famous from bad publicity. Alrighty, guys, and that is all of the questions! I know I only, I know I skipped, like, a couple questions in there. I just did not feel comfortable answering them and letting you guys know the answers. So, that's fine, because I don't have to answer that. <laughs> but I hope you learned a little something about me today. Why don't you tell me some interesting facts about yourself down in the comments? Anyway, I'm so glad this video didn't end up being too, too long. I feel like a lot of my vlogmas videos have ended up being a little bit longer than I would have liked, so I've been trying to cut them down a little bit. But anyway, that is all for today's video. I will see you guys tomorrow on the 17th. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys!